How's it going guys? Sharblox here. Welcome back to another Roblox video. Now for today guys, I have a tutorial video. Do you guys remember that really clever trick where you could play Roblox games without any textures showing? This was actually a really clever trick and if you had a PC that wasn't necessarily the best gaming PC in the world, then this would really improve your frame rate inside of Roblox games. I really liked this trick. For me personally, I used it all the time. I thought it was brilliant. However, you guys might remember last year in October, of 2021, Roblox actually patched this trick. And that was really annoying. To activate the trick, you used to go into your Roblox settings and you simply used to delete all of the texture folders. It was very, very easy to set up. However, Roblox kind of changed it where even if you deleted your textures and you went to play a Roblox game, the textures would just pop back up. And honestly, it was driving players crazy. We had no idea how we were deleting them and all of a sudden they were coming back. Well, it turns out guys, there is finally a new method for removing Roblox textures, and yes, this does work in every single Roblox game. Pretty much, guys, I thought it would be useful if I showed you how to do this in a video. I don't know how long this new method has been out for. I think it's been out since the summer, so maybe I'm a little bit late to covering this, but to be fair, I don't really think many players know about this. Now, I just want to say, as far as I'm aware, currently this only works on PC. I think it probably works on Mac as well, if you play Roblox on Mac. If you're on mobile, so iOS or Android, I'm pretty sure this one is not working. Well, unless you're able to like modify the Roblox APK or IPA file or something. If anyone watching a video wants to try that on their phone, then go for it. Let me know if it works. Let's get into the guide. So I just want to say a very big shout out to this guy on Twitter. His name is 4941. And he said, Sharkblocks, I found another method to get low poly back. Here's the video that I use. Here's proof that it works. So he was playing a game. He was on a base plate here. And we can see none of these stud or like concrete textures on the base plate are being displayed. So we can confirm this guy removed his Roblox textures. Finally, there's a new method. We've got to check this out. So to get started, you guys want to go over to your computer's desktop. And the very first thing you want to do is just right click anywhere, then select new, and you want to click on folder. Now you want to create a folder and just call it backup. Now the reason why I'm making this folder is because I want to save the textures inside of here just in case anything goes wrong. Or maybe for a certain game, I want to add the textures back. It's basically a quicker way of dragging and dropping files rather than having to reinstall Roblox each time you want new textures. Okay, so once you've got your backup folder, you want to go over to the Roblox player, you want to right click here and you want to click on open file location. So guys, it's going to open just like this in the latest version of Roblox. Also keep in mind, every time Roblox updates, you might need to delete the textures again. But to be fair, we had to do that last time anyway. And yeah, basically what you guys want to do is right click here, go on new, create a new folder. You must have administrator access on your computer for this to work, but you want to type in client settings. Yep, client settings, just like that, press enter, and it should be okay. If it gives you any errors, you could try creating the folder somewhere else, then dragging and dropping it across. On to the next step though, you guys want to go into platform content. You want to double click on PC. You want to go into textures, and you see all of the textures in here. Well, you want to delete all of them. Well, actually, there's three you want to keep. You want to keep water, sky, and glass as well. These ones are normally transparent textures, so if you delete these, they can like mess up games and stuff. For example, if I deleted glass, like windows wouldn't be see-through or transparent anymore. And if I deleted the sky, I think the sky would just be like a standard color. Again, if you delete water, it's not really like reflective or see-through. I think everything else is probably safe to delete. Now I say delete, I'm actually going to cut them. So you want to right click guys and you want to go on cut, not delete. Now the reason why we are cutting them is because we're transferring them into our backup folder. Because yeah, just in case you want to transfer them across later or you change your mind and you want textures back go and double click on the folder to open it then you want to right click go on paste and it's literally going to transfer them oh you might need to click on continue but that's basically it there you go you've now backed up your textures back in the roblox file folder they should now all be gone except glass sky and water so what you want to do next guys is click on version at the top now you're back in this folder now we actually want to create a new file inside of client settings now what this file does is let us disable textures on our computer. So you want to right click, you want to do new, and you want to create a text document. Now, as you can see for me, it's not giving me the option. I think for some people it does. For me, it's a bit glitchy. I'm actually going to have to create a text document in another folder and then drag and drop it, but that's simple enough. I'll tell you what, guys, let's create one in our backup folder. So back inside the backup folder, we need to right click, we need to go on new, we need to go on text documents. Now, if you guys cannot see .txt at the end, well, you actually need to enable a setting on Windows. I 
would recommend leaving this setting turned on. If you go up to view at the top and then scroll along and click on options, then if you go on view again, one of these options you actually want to enable. I think it's this one, hide extensions. Oh, that's right, guys. If you have this turned on, you want to turn it off. So where it says hide extensions for known file types, basically that hides like the little extension text at the end. So if that's turned off, you want to click on apply it, then OK. And you should now be seeing .txt. So we actually need to rename this. So let's just right click on it, go to rename. We're going to type in client app settings. Yep, just like that, press enter. Now double click to actually open the txt file. And guys, you want to paste this in. So it's flag debug. Basically what this text or this code allows you to do is disable material textures. Yeah, it's very simple. If you change it to false, it won't disable textures. If you leave it on true, it will. So we're going to go on file. We're going to go on save. We actually want to close out of this. There's one more thing I want you guys to do. If you just go on rename again, you see where it says .txt at the end? You actually want to type in JSON, then press enter. It's going to say, are you sure you want to change it? It might become unusable. That's not true. We're going to click on yes. And so there you go. You've now got your file ready to copy into the actual Roblox app settings. So let's right click it. Let's go on copy. On your file folders, guys, you want to go back to the Roblox client settings folder. And in theory, we should be able to right click and paste it. We might have to click continue, but that should work. Oh, there you go. It worked. Okay, guys, everything's looking good. So we've got Roblox. We've got our backup. Now it's time to play a game and textures should be gone. I'm going to play Arsenal for an example. I know this game's a little bit dead. It doesn't really get updates anymore, but I am very familiar with this game and it does use a lot of textures. So we should be able to tell fairly easily. Let's go and join the game and yeah, we can see what it looks like. So what you're watching right now, guys, is my gameplay from 15 minutes ago. As you can see, textures were enabled and running. But now over on the game, guys, it's a Halloween update. Okay, that's interesting. And as you guys can clearly see, textures have gone. All of the textures have been removed. Finally, guys, we can remove textures yet again. This is actually a really, really clever trick. And yeah, this works in every Roblox game. Let's try randomizer. I'm sure it should be working in this as well. The only downside about removing textures is some games like require textures to look good and to look, you know, polished and stuff. Games like this though, without textures, honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. And like I was saying, guys, if you've got like a fairly basic computer that's not necessarily like an ultimate gaming machine, then removing textures is going to benefit you a lot. I mean, games are going to run so much smoother. As you can see, I'm getting wrecked right now, but I'm not really concentrating. Let's try and get a kill. Can I kill this ninja guy? Oh, it's not even a real person. It's someone's like um ninja. I don't know what that is. Oh, this gun's terrible. It does so little damage. Let's try and get this guy. Come on, we got so many hits on it. Hey, we got him. Then we got sniped. But yeah, like I was saying, it works. All of our textures have gone. We successfully did it. Now, a lot of you guys might not know this, but there is actually several tricks you can do with that Roblox client folder. I actually featured it in this video before, but I think this time I couldn't get it working. As you can see, it kept on coming up with errors or something. This one was like the edit profile pictures, or I think it was working before and then Roblox changed it. Hopefully though with the textures, guys, I don't think they're going to patch it. Also, if you guys don't have Roblox FPS Unlocker, I would highly recommend you get it. I made a video showing you guys how to get it two years ago. And to be fair, that video is still pretty good. Even though I sound pretty cringy, the video itself is not bad whatsoever. So yeah, if you haven't seen that, if you don't have FPS Unlocker running, I would recommend getting that as well. It's free and it's really good for old computers. Like I said in this video, I've got an updated guide on removing textures, obviously what you're watching right now. But yeah, no textures plus FPS Unlocker is like the ultimate Roblox experience. Anyway, that's it. This video is going on for too long. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.